just gonna hope I'm in frame and also in focus. What's up, everybody? This is technically day one of peak week. Actually, I mean, technically, it's day two already because it's past midnight, but let's not, let's not talk about that. We don't need to talk about that. Um, so, peak week, this is the last week before my very first show, which uh, I decided I wanted to document. So, just take you know, short videos, tell you guys how things are going. So, today I did a full shift at Popeyes. Uh, so, started at 10, ended at 6. So, you know, a lot of time spent on my feet, pretty tired, pretty exhausted. Uh, but, you know, managed to hit my calories. It was a little over, but this sort of a treat for the for the weekend, for Saturday. I get to be a little over, especially since I was doing a lot more cardio. Oh, well, steady state, low intensity cardio all day, just by walking around the store and helping people and staying on my feet. Um, nonetheless, that'll be kind of balanced out tomorrow anyhow. Uh, but we are approaching the end of the process for the first show and also means that I'm dropping water out one liter a day as well. Today was the first day of that, so from eight to seven liters. So uh, feeling pretty good about that. That's pretty great. Don't feel like I have to pee every like 20 minutes, which is fantastic. Uh, and yeah, just looking forward to seeing how my body develops as I drop more water and as I get more dry and get closer to show day. So yeah, not much to report. Got some uh, competition practice, some posing practice that I still got to do tonight, uh, even though it is quarter to one. But hey, you got to get it done. Um, it's real hot here today. Uh, it's supposed to be getting warmer and warmer, I think, over the next like few days at least. So yeah, it doesn't matter. Still got to get it done. And that's exactly what we're going to do. So see you guys tomorrow, day two. Hopefully I'm in just as wonderful spirit. What's up everyone, this is day two of peak week and last night I did some more prep uh, for food prep stuff. Uh, I had to cut up like three kilos of chicken, it was crazy. It was a lot. Uh, that's all in preparation for the high protein, very low carbohydrate diet that I'm gonna be on for the next little while once I kind of cruise through Monday. Uh, anyhow, have a couple other things to do for prep. Uh, today not a lot but uh there's some research i was trying to do into water cutting as i mentioned in that video before because i feel like i can tighten up the process of prep a lot and so i'm kind of in preparation for that trying to find like something super optimal uh and you know everything going well maybe i can make it through regionals you know do really well there and then have an even tighter better package for nationals uh but of course uh I always running into little hiccups and i don't know what happened but i kind of i opened up a wound on my thumb the other day uh, and uh, I opened it up again last night and I was bleeding like a hemophiliac and I have no idea why. Um, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna hope that's fine. I'm gonna just run through this and if I need to hit the doctor, so be it. But for now, I'm just trying to make it through. So I'm just kind of getting some other little prep things done today. Tomorrow, I gotta pick up my shorts. So that'll be pretty cool. Uh, and we'll get to see what it looks like in terms of my show look uh, for the most part with, you know, without me being super dry, but we'll kind of get a sense as to what show day will look like. So looking forward to that. Hope you are too. See you guys tomorrow. Hopefully you're having a, a sick day. Again, I'm feeling pretty good right now. So this is, this is kind of great. I mean, it's earlier in the day, so I have more energy, but still, it's a win. You take the dubs when you can get them, right? See you tomorrow. All right, so we're at peak D. Peak D, jeez, scrambled egg brain. Peak day, day, whoa. Let's start that one more time. We are at peak week day three. Whew, jeez. <sighs> Took way more takes to do than I thought it was going to. But that speaks to the fact that really my, my brain is scrambled eggs at this point in time. Uh, I, I mentioned it in the video I'm probably gonna post. I don't know, we'll see. Point is, today's mission is competition shorts. So I've got my shorts tailored and I'm heading over to the mall so I can go ahead and pick them out basically just or pick them up uh, I want to make sure that they fit right uh, they had to do some modifications because your boy got a dumpy a big one uh, and a small waist so you know got that recipe for the snatch waist and the big booty suck it at me you know what I'm saying I don't get help you out I got the I got the cheat codes point is that means that my shorts had to kind of get some special tailoring in terms of how the waist is going to be fitted versus how the thighs are fitted and I you know so I can actually get them on and off uh, so we're gonna go see if they actually fit hopefully they do you guys will get to see some of that and uh, of course uh, uh, we'll uh, we'll gauge how I'm feeling as I'm going through the process I just had some carbs uh, which are probably gonna sustain me for most of today the rest of this week is basically gonna be depletion up until we get real close to show day so 
Uh, I should have to, I'm trying to savor uh, the taste of rice because uh, that's going to vanish soon. Uh, but, uh, you know, up to this point in time, doing pretty good. Um, the exhaustion really hits late at night, so I think I should be fine for the rest of the day. The workout's going to be a bit of a challenge. We'll see how that goes. Uh, but I think I'll be okay. Here's hoping. Not really sure. Uh, but yeah, let's head off to the mall. Uh, it's my, It might be rush hour, so I hope your traffic's not too bad. We'll see. should have taken the escalator in the bay, but now I gotta go basically backwards to go forward. We'll correct this on the way back. Okay, oh, Ah, excellent, okay. I wanna, I wanna try them on as well, just to... So we have to see if the uh, the waste works you as we play. We work all day, so you have to laugh out some stress, okay? I, I have no problem allowing you guys to laugh out some stress. I have no problem with that. Thank you. Okay, you too. Thanks. Is that yes, yes, this is Saturday. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Bye now. All right. Shorts. Chook. Knocked off the list. Now, hair. Tan. Ugh. And a bunch of other stuff I'm forgetting, but you know, whatever. Oh, we'll, we'll get there. We'll, we'll take care of it. We'll get to that point. Yeah. Escalator in the bay this time. Don't waste all my time. All that walking all the way around nonsense. Chico's! Also, I promise to give that Stitch It, Maryland specifically, a five star review. I'm gonna say it on video, put it in the video, you know, so it reminds me. Like I said, scrambled egg brain. So far, no traffic on the way here. Got my shorts, they're looking good, fitting good. Everything's going my way so far. Knock on wood. Let's hope it stays that way. All right, so competition shorts, donezo, perfect. Next thing I have to do is hair. That's the next thing I have to worry about. Uh, I've got some workouts to deal with, uh, completion or pff, depletion to make it through. Uh, or I guess I could have said depletion to go through to completion. But honestly, that's wordplay I do not have the mental capacity for. Um, and I'm, I'm sure a couple of other things, packing, whatnot, for actually going down to Barry that I gotta worry about. But uh, this is nice to have the shorts off the list. Uh, and some of you are probably wondering, I hear, you can, I hear you thinking, but Keegan, you overly cautious individual, you Freddy cat, you, why are you wearing a mask? Uh, there's no more need for masks. They're not mandatory anymore. Well. As I approach the show, I don't want to get sick with anything at all. I don't. I don't want a common cold. I don't want a sniffle. I don't want. I don't want. Oh, I should bleep out the word. Uh, I don't want you know the big C, any of them, any forms of that. Uh, I don't want any kind of cold or any kind of sniffle. Anything that'll get in my way of the show, basically. So I will wear a mask everywhere and anywhere necessary for that. Um, but I'm also probably just being a little overly uh, chatty now. We're probably rambling again. God, I can feel myself rambling. All right, I'm gonna stop. Seriously, Ooh, scrambled egg brain. This is some real, this is real shit. This is real. This is what it's all about. Anyhow, about to head home. Hopefully, the traffic's just as good. Haven't really looked at it yet, but just fingers crossed. And uh, yeah, get ready for my workout tonight.
and then we can get a get it popping, and I'll be able to hopefully have a early night, get some sleep, and uh, you know, heal up, rest up as much as possible. I'll probably have to save my energy for most of this week because it's gonna be a it's gonna be a rough one as I go through completion. So, anyhow, see y'all tomorrow, day four. Figured I should do today's update on peak week. This is peak week day four. We're on Tuesday. And uh, I mean, I just got finished the second workout that I'll be doing for the week, which is the last one I'll be doing until the actual show day itself on Saturday. Um, I have comparison round practice to do tonight. I'm not looking forward to that. 10 minutes of posing is it's friggin' brutal. I just, I just know other way to put it. But we put those reps in, we get that work done. We're trying to get that dub. Let's go. So that's just what has to happen. We're gonna do that. Now, worth reporting is the fact that I programmed myself what seemed like two easy days of uh, occlusion training, so blood flow restriction training. Uh, all of the exercises were BFR training exercises, and I thought it was gonna be pretty easy. Yesterday was lower body, today was upper body. Today, smooth sailing, easy peasy. I even added in an extra shoulder workout just to like really round things out a little bit. Yesterday, lower body day, holy hell, that was, Oh my God, that was, that was, that was brutal. It was without question, the second hardest workout I have ever done in my entire life. There was one that supersedes it. I'm not gonna spoil it because maybe I'll talk about it in a future video, who knows, but Neil Robalio, you're out there. You know exactly which workout I'm talking about. All right, exactly. We're talking dizzy, faint, wanted to vomit, nearly passed out i i feel like i saw the gaping maw of god himself while i was attempting to pull off some of those reps during that workout it was gnarly to say the least but that's beyond the point the point was yesterday's workout was crazy brutal so i was so glad that today was a little bit more chill Calories today are down to like 21 something. I don't even remember, like 2173, something like that. Uh, I toyed with the idea of playing with like getting a little bit more calories, like going a little bit higher. But honestly, I'm really trying to see these shreds get sick as hell. I'm trying to be shredded like cheese for a pizza. So, you know, your boy, your boy decided to keep it exactly how it was. So, uh, you know, we'll keep, keep at it today. First day of depletion. So that's in the books, we're done with that. So now I gotta move on to the next day of completion, which is tomorrow. Uh, I thought I'd be worse off today. I was a little tired, a little off. The camera feels heavy in my hand. Holy hell. The camera feels heavy in my hand because I just, depletion is just that way. You get tired real fast, really, really fast. Uh, but uh, I went to the splash pad in Toronto Zoo with my daughter today and uh, the missus, of course, and uh, it, uh, it wasn't as bad as I thought. Got some sun, so maybe it'll help with, uh, you know, some base color. I don't know, do I look a little darker? I'll have to compare between, like, the, the two days. Maybe I do, maybe I don't. Not a big deal if I don't. Um, point is, uh, I thought it was gonna be a lot harder on me, and Lord, I was real tired, but I, I managed to make it through pretty well, so, you know, Feeling pretty good. Don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but we keep pushing, trying to get those, uh, trying to get that skin papery, trying to get those cuts as, uh, as deep as possible for show day. Uh, now, I'm not trying to say that I'm not like putting forth all my effort for show day for this Saturday, but I know naturally this is where I'm really trying to be super shredded, super cut, super lean, just diced out of my mind. So, you know, putting uh, put my focus in for that. So regardless, we're gonna go in hard. We're gonna put in that work. Cause again, I want dubs when I go up on stage this Saturday. So that's what it's all about. Put in the work so we can get that victory. So anyhow, I think that does it for today. I'll check in tomorrow. Tomorrow's actually gonna be my hair appointment. So I'll be able to get my hair done, looking a little fresh tomorrow. So I'm looking forward to. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see how that's going. And uh, we'll be pretty close to the end game. All right, we're at peak week day five. This is Wednesday, and today, like I mentioned, I was uh, out to get my hair taken care of, ready for the show day. Uh, so get my dreads retwisted. Uh, also get another set of half braid back. Uh, I was gonna film more there. I can do the vlog either in the car or like on the way to the actual salon, like into the salon. But uh, 
I was running late, so I forgot. Uh, but hopefully, forgive me. And uh, yeah, I figured I'd catch you guys up now. So today being the fifth day, this is also the second day of car depletion. And the exhaustion is starting to feel a little bit more intense today. I'll admit to that. I feel like muscles get a lot more tired faster. Dang, wind, you out here right now. Huh? Calm down for a second. Let me film. There's supposed to be some thunderstorms today, so I'm trying to get this done before that because I want to do this outside where the lighting's a little bit better. Um, anyhow, uh, other than continuing car depletion today and then into tomorrow, um, any notable developments in the peak week protocol? I have no workout today, which is pretty great. Just some uh, cardio, some light cardio to do. So I'll probably do it by an hour of walking, head to the gym later on tonight. Uh, other than that, just uh, kind of kicking it, kind of taking care of stuff at home. I have to cook some more chicken because I'm like really low on chicken. And you know that uh, that prep life, chicken is absolutely king. So. Yeah, I gotta take care of that. Other than that, doing pretty good. Spirits are still high. I'm embracing the suck and uh, really starting to feel myself uh, get leaner. I'm also only on three liters of water now, so that's a lot more manageable, but I do find myself having to ration a little bit. So that's a bit interesting. Anyhow, uh, I will see you guys for day six tomorrow, which will be the last day of depletion. Yep, last day of depletion. We're getting real close, down to the wire. See y'all tomorrow. What's up? And you're gonna have to forgive me for this one. Today is updates for days six and seven because yesterday was crazy busy and not gonna lie, kinda forgot a bit. You have to again forgive mashed potatoes in the brain. That's just what perhaps is about when it comes to carb depletion. <laughs> I'm still there a little bit right now. Um, but really busy day yesterday with you know the final little bit of cardio that I had to do and getting ready for leaving today to go up north so that I can actually register and whatnot for the show. Uh, so that's what's happening today and there's still a lot going on. Uh, I'm gonna be taking care of my daughter pretty much solo for most of the morning. So lots to go on there, lots to do. Gotta eat, gotta finish packing still. I gotta get stuff ready to go down to the car. Gotta get her ready. Uh, not only just to like be awake and be alive, but also get down there as well and like all the stuff she's gonna need up north. Uh, so it was a really busy day yesterday, gonna be a busy day today, um, but hopefully I'll be able to get some content from registration and we can show you that. So sit tight and yeah, I'll see you guys in a little bit. If not the registration, then the big day, show day. Basically there, man, 24 hours. And sometimes you wonder, you go, am I watching greatness? In this moment is not only you watch watching greatness, you know you watch watching destruction. I'm about to eat. That's what's up. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Woo! This dude right here is going to destroy you. Gas me up. I'm so ready for this right now. This is gonna be sick. It's finally coming down to the wire right now. I'm excited to eat too. God damn. I was hungry. Alright, one last check in before show day. It is the night of. We are at 1026. I gotta be up at 7. Figured I owed you guys at least one more check in, considering I kind of, you know, for honors, missed one of the days. But uh, I'm feeling pretty good right now. Uh, we did the athlete meeting and registration, all that, uh, earlier today. Uh, in the process of doing so, me and my posing coach, Iman, we ended up kind of changing part of the posing routine at the last second. I guess we'll see tomorrow if that pays off or not. Nonetheless, we basically kind of got all the last little bits of information we need about like when things are happening and how things are going down. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to do like a live, which by this point in time when you see this, long since been over, but hopefully I'll be able to do a live and uh, those of you who did participate, you know, into the comments, you know, tell people what they missed. Uh, but from some point in the middle of it, I'm actually also kind of hoping to head to um, the Athletic Culture, the sponsor of this particular show. They're kind of like the pure muscle and fitness of the North. So fitness mecca of the North, I'm, I'm down, let's go. Um, we'll see if we can hit that up tomorrow. If we can, that'll be pretty tight. Uh, but of course, that pretty much wraps it up. Uh, good night, everybody. Here's hoping tomorrow works out just as well as I hope it does. And uh, I'll see y'all in the, in the next little update.
Peace out.